Um, I think once you start talking about archaic instruments, for me, the most archaic instrument is the grand piano. Uh, because it has not changed since the middle of the 19th century. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you should be talking about that as archaic and saying we should just be playing on uh, electronic instruments maybe today or something. Um, I think that uh, the uh, earlier instruments, including the organ, were always developing um, the uh, violin and the cello uh, were always developing from the bar Baroque period in, in the 20th century even they were being changed um, people were playing on gut strings at the beginning of the 20th century and then uh, you know um, so I think there is always there has always been changes and whether we go back and uh, uh, you know uh, if you want to understand what Beethoven sounded like you cannot possibly use uh, a modern Steinway and certainly not a Yamaha <laughs> or something. Um, so we, we have problems. We are always having to adapt from, uh, from other ideas. Uh, but I mean, things are changing all the time. I don't think there is anything particularly archaic about the organ uh, that is not also archaic about a, a, a grand piano. <laughs> and I think if we are open to, um, to uh, anything, you say the youth of today, uh, they are being brought up with all kinds of things. They have all kinds of possibilities uh, with computers. Um, I come here to, to Armenia, and I know that on the one hand, you have an extremely archaic culture, yes? Um, but uh, the architecture that I see here is basically early 20th century. Um, uh, there is, you know, quite a, a, a big difference between that and what I hope um, I may see uh, at the end of my visit. Um, so I, I, I don't know. There are, of course, problems relating to, to anything. There are problems relating to different uh, cultures and there are problems relating to different periods. But I think that today it is more possible than it ever was before for us to appreciate um, you know, what, uh, what other cultures have to offer. And um, I must say I was very uh, pleased yesterday when I saw your chamber concert hall for the first time. And this organ sits in this, in this space architecturally really very beautifully. Um, the acoustic may be a different problem, but uh, in any case, um, you have there an instrument which, uh, which for me is is much more approachable than many of the big organs you found built in most uh, Soviet uh, cities uh, in the uh, 70s and 80s, and which uh, you know in Russia it's it's perhaps sometimes more of a problem to to approach this music. But once you have an instrument like that. Uh, and we will be playing together with, with your modern instruments and trying to approach the Baroque style. It is always a compromise. Life is always a compromise. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm talking too long. Nobody is going to translate everything. I will, I will. Karikat Tarkmanelu. Այսօրվադաշնամուրը, որ Կոնքրետ ինչ-որ մեզ ավերաբերվում, մի անգամից բան անցնեմ իրամտքին էլ, 
դուք ասում է հոյակապ գործիք ունեք կամերային երաշտության տանը։ Եթե այդպիսի մի բան կա դա ուրեմն պետք է փայփայել, պահել եւ ասենք ինչու որևէ մի բան փայփայում պահում, պահվում է, երի տասարդությունը ինքը երևի հետաքրքիր կգտնի, այսինքն ես էլ եմ համամիտել, որ պետք չի զորով ինչ որ բաներ ստիպել մարդկանց անել, իսկ ապես եթե մի բան փայփայվում, պահպանվում է, դա անշուշտ ցանկացած երի տասարդությունը կգտնի իր հետաքրքրությունը դրա մեջ։ Ընդհանուր միտքը ես մասնագիտական մասը չեմ թարգմանում, մասնագիտական ընդհանուր մտքի ուղղակի բանը։ Այո։ Ոչ թե հարազատ է, այդ երաշտության ծննդա վայրն է, կներեք էլ, պետք է ասեմ ուղակի։ She's asking that uh, how, how much in Europe is it uh, popular? Uh, she's asking for a few examples of uh, big Baroque festivals where you're uh, yourself participating. Just uh, name a few and just uh, just a couple of words about the general interest towards uh, Baroque music. I think uh, the word Baroque is actually a problem. Yeah, um, early but, music, but yeah. Maybe we should say early music. Early because, music. Uh, um, I'm just directly translating yes. that. Yeah. Yes, no, but I, I, I just think that this, uh, this term is, uh, is, is a slight problem. If we say early music, we are covering uh, larger a slightly larger period, from at least from the Renaissance, yeah. even, even including medieval. Mm -hmm. um, well, there is, uh, there is a lot of interest in, in early music and, uh, over Europe and uh, when I was a student, of course, this was a new movement, and it was very exciting. And one of the problems for me, uh, and for many people, is that this early music has become, uh, in many cases, very established. Uh, the kinds of things that the early music movement uh, 40 years ago was rebelling against are now <laughs> part and parcel of the of the early, uh, early music as it is performed in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in Europe. And um, it's different in different countries. Italy uh, was a late developer and things in Italy uh, are still quite interesting and a little bit freer, I think, than elsewhere. But uh, I think for uh, audiences and everybody, this is, this is interesting. And... Um, I'd say, say about earlier than Baroque, but of course later than Baroque as well. People now are being very interested in hearing Mozart and Beethoven played on, on the yeah, instruments yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there is a, a live interest yeah. in this. Asma Nakhivaraj, Uremen, Yeke Konkret Barokov, Samana Pagnik, and Tanur Hinirash San Masin Hoskovarin, Asma Yesvuris, Yepurius Susanovi, the Nur Sharjumer. Ուրեմն այդ շարժումը հիմնականում նվիրված է ուրեմն երաշտությունը կատարել ըստ ժամանակաշրջանի ինֆորմացիայի պահանջների եւ գործիքների նաեւ եւ շատ ընթուզիազմ կար եւ մեծ հետաքրքրություն այսօրվա ուրերին անշուշտ հսկայական փառատոններ կան հսկայական հետաքրքրություն ընդ որում ես ինքս ինք կողմից ավելացնեմ եթե այսպես ասած շուկ աննայեք սիդիների դիվիդիների դու կտեսնեք ինչ հսկայական տեղա գրավում հին երաշտությունը ընդհանրապես միջնադար ռենեսանս բարոկ այդ շրջանի երաշտությունը կտեսնեք ինչ հսկայական տեղա գրավում նույնիսկ այսպես ասած մեծ տրադիցիոն հասկացողությունների մեջի դպրոցը ճնշելով է գնում հսկայական ուրեմն 